All right, should just be a few more moments. Uh, I had to remake the lobby. That that lobby's not gonna work, Zimba. I I sent. Yeah, I sent Rich Factor the the new info. So we'll uh, we'll kick off when when everyone joins the new lobby. But appreciate the follows, 3M Esports. Sorry about earlier. Did you win your game? I wanted to see that game too. Nice. Congrats. Congrats. All right, let's see. Didn't be too much longer. I think I think uh Rich is taking a a bathroom break. And we are getting grace with the presence of the main channel. What up everyone? And then you see these despicable animals <laughs> what up uh we're, we're actually right on time teams are starting to join and we'll get underway shortly I, I was having trouble with my graphics card earlier so hopefully that's not an issue We have the Bearcats in. We'll go to the field. And we're gonna we're gonna end the evening right. We got the we got the raid. And the Bearcats versus the true Reapers. Don't look to those fake Reapers. We have the true ones in the lobby. Ready to go. All right, so they're forwarding the info. What up, Pyro? Need the code? Uh, yeah, um, the other team's getting it to you. I was trying to hit up your captain, and he's a hard man to get a hold of on Discord. He's hard. I, I almost contacted the NSA, but I was like, ah, it'll be fine. I don't know who he's hiding out from. We we're just going to need you to cast a trash esports invitational game soon. Let me know. Let me know when you guys aren't on the main channel. Just uh, just DM me on Discord. I'm ready for that. People, what people don't know about trash esports is that they have a dynasty. <laughs> they have an invitational dynasty. That, that they have worked on during the invitational short stint so uh so yeah we're, we're ready for that we're clear to join Here it is, tier, th tier three, Northwest Bearcats versus the True Reapers. It's week one. There's no stats, no record. Everyone coming in with a clean slate. Your season can pivot at any moment with every touch, every loss, possession. That boy, Trickster. Log World, he's the third man back, plays a little too shallow, almost got back to make the save. Is what it is. True Reapers up by one. 11 seconds in. And here's Log World trying to make up for it. Swedish with a great 50. Rich Factors up. Can't go. Amounts to a fake. And Log World with great midfield presence. Here's Swedish. Gets the ball again. Goes to the wall. Was expecting the challenge. Gets nothing. That's headed over. Upper 90 bar. Down that boy. Trickster. A booming shot. I wouldn't venture out there, fellas. This sniper's got talent. 
And in case your eyes don't work, the sound will let you know. Sniper's got talent. True Reapers up by two. Alligator Source going to show some love now. Please check him out. IGL Community Caster and Circuitry Gaming Caster. What up, Gator? And before we're done with a, a minute pass in game one, True Reapers are up by three. A little late to the lobby. All they needed was the info. All they needed was the info. 40 seconds in and they're doing work. Here comes Rich Factor. Captain for the Bearcats. He's not going to let... He's not going to let his his team get down on themselves, hang their heads. It's game one. A lot of Rocket League left to play. Best of five here tonight. Kailur, what up? Welcome to the channel. Appreciate you coming in on the raid. Finish the set of series myself. And there's Rich Factor. Will not be denied. Just like I was saying, Log World passes, takes a bump, and Rich Factor... Perfect quickness. Plenty of time to come back in this one. Two gold differential with a little under four minutes to go. And this is the kind of nerves that we'll see in week one. The clean slate also means it's unknown. You're un it's unknown what the other team is bringing to the table. And it's usually unknown what you and your team can bring to the table as well. So... Usually game one is a feeler game, but week one could be a feeler week as here come the Bearcats. Log World takes the pass, takes the waterfall, and cuts the Reaper's lead to one. Alligator says he's going to get a Gatorade. Oh, man, that's... <laughs> you better do that right now. Leave, leave this channel. Go do that, because that's that's a must. You, you've been missing out on that. What a shot here. And a great save by the fish. Swedish. <laughs> Bar down. No, it goes out. Rich factors in, and we are tied. What a play. Ojo, Cristiano. Cristiano del área. Sigue Cristiano. No. And this is exactly what you want from your captain, Rich Factor. He's going to lead them. He's going to bolster their performance. And he's going to lead by example. Beautiful. Beautiful comeback they've mounted here. And no harm, no foul. Back to scale we are with about three minutes left. Dyslexic Furry. <laughs> Not to be confused with Fury, even though I have a, a hard time reading sometimes. Swedish puts it out against the wall. Rich trying to get involved. Rich is red hot. Working on a hat trick. Needs another one. But now that we're tied, I would imagine the, the pressure is off from the Bearcats. Hold on. Great save by Rich Factor. He is all over the field in this one. And the demo to boot. Ooh. Log World can't touch. The boy Trixta. On the sideline. Trixta serving as the captain for the Reapers. And here Zimba sends a shot. And he shoots into Log World. So maybe with the Bearcats being able to tie it 3-3, they may have lost that sense of urgency as well. Things have settled down a ton since we've we've had a tie here. And here comes Rich Factor. Can't get it out of the corner. Tries the back pass. No one home. Long rolled up a little too shallow again. But this time, he's able to corral it. Swedish collects it across midfield. He's beat two defenders, puts it out. Log World, Rich Factor, no miscommunication there. And it seems like Log World is having a hard time finding his footing, finding his space on the field in relation to his teammates. 
but that's that's definitely something you can get cleaned up in in a series in an evening maybe in in a game but we are tied here game one may go to an overtime zimba catches it in midfield 50 up anyone ball there's a demo from the furry rich factor beats a defender Trickster with a catch, with a pop, log rolled again, and what a save! Ticking down to 20 seconds. Sensei, appreciate the follow. Hope everyone's enjoying the action, whether you came in on the main channel raid or the Gator raid. Log world! Kind of picking on him a little bit. Saying that he couldn't find his positioning. Perfect position there. And great wherewithal. Bearcats with a late one goal lead. They deny overtime so far. And that'll be it. Bearcats will take game one. Pyro says, what a comeback. What a comeback indeed. What a, a comeback indeed. They start down 3-0 and battle back like crazy. And both teams ready for game number two. Log World is our MVP with two goals and two assists. But a lot of love to go around with four goals total. So here it is, 0-0, zero, zero, back to scale. Another clean slate. Let's see which team can take advantage here. Five minutes on the clock. Trixta sends it back, and here comes the Furry. Out of his corner, he gets popped off the ball. Swedish sends it towards the net, but Zimba. Perfect rotation there. Driving down the field. Beats two defenders. Waterfall could be shot. And the Furry just doesn't quite have enough on it. As Log World looking to dribble. Our game one MVP gets robbed outside the orange net, and Zimba gets denied. And Swedish Fist gets behind. <laughs> I keep calling him Fish. Gets behind the defense. I imagine it's not the first time he's heard it. Zimba can't get to it, and that is just a testament to how quick Swedish was there. Breakneck speed, Reapers couldn't catch up, and the Bearcats picking up right where they left off as they now score six unanswered goals going back to game one. Map helps with this one, the ghost touch, and it's in. 407 remaining. Dyslexic Furry gets dunked. It's Swedish. There again. Log World smothers the would be ball carrier and Rich Factor. Looks like he's going to a three-man territory, playing smart. Rich Boy had a big two-goal two game himself. Kill Trocity. And another demo, and Log World goes just a smidge wide on his shot. Here comes Swedish. Touches, loses possession. That one's in the net. That boy tricks the... Makes them pay, but now it's the Reapers that are going to have to mount a comeback here. And that is their first goal in quite some time. We talked about the six unanswered from the Bearcats. That streak is 
Stop dead in its tracks. Rich factor. Can't get to it. Log World sends it out. And it's down. Dyslexic Furry. Let's see. Rocking the Fennec. Fennec looks good. Pass looks good. Cannot finish. Can't get to it. No shooter there to take the pass, but that looked golden. Zimba might get dunked here. It's Swedish. Off the post. Close, but no cigar. Let's see if the Bearcats can stay on offense here. Rich Factor off the wall. Looks good. Can't get the touch. Can't get the flip reset. Log World headed out of the corner. Fish. <laughs> Swedish can't get to it. The boy Trickster runs into Furry. Looks, looks like they had a uh, an infield pass play that they were working on. But they, they just collided instead. And Log World looks gorgeous going up to high point that one. Doesn't finish the play. Tricks to find some space once more in Log World. Gets a goal saving touch. Swedish. Out in the field. Pops up. Double commit. On the shot. And Rich Factor gets robbed at the midfield. Upper 90. Dyslexic Furry. With fantastic placement. And True Reapers are working. On a tie here. To complete a comeback, perhaps under two minutes. Twos across the board. And let's see how the Bearcats respond to such adversity. Against the sidewall. Touch here. Zimba. To the corner. Out of the corner now. Good pass. And Bearcats send it out to opposite side of the field. Swedish. Tries to double to his captain and a narrow miss there. Another demo. Get him a body bag. Yeah. And Log World with the placement. What a shot. What a play. That's what you call pulling it back and letting it go, PJ. Pulling it back and letting it go in a one goal lead right when they needed it. Minute 20 remaining. Trickster corrals it. Looking for a pass. He sees Zimba at midfield. Could have been a little faster to get there. Bearcats are able to cut it off. And here's Log World. Looking for 100. Gets it out of the corner. On the ball. No defenders. They get sent back. You have to respect the speed. As the Reapers continue to try to battle back here. And Log World has looked very, very good in these aerial challenges. Tries to get it away. Here's Rich Factor. Knows he doesn't need much. Just a, a save, a clear. Maybe some, some clock killing possession. And he loses the ball once more. True Reapers have to be wondering how many more Offensive possessions they'll be getting for the rest of this game, too. As Log World 50s with Furry. To the corner, Swedish chasing it down, looking for a demo, perhaps. Neither team have shied away from that play. And this one will go down to the floor. And Bearcats are now looking for a 3 0 sweep. Match point for them. Ready up here, Log World back to back MVP performances. Two goals this time on five shots. A lot more modest here. As Slow and Steady won the race. And the Reapers are ready to go. No substitutions from them. They like their personnel. They probably just feel they haven't been able to, to deliver a full game. They've been in it, they've been close. Dyslexic Furry 
Pops in. Great pass. Swedish is up on it. And Zimba is able to get the post save. Another pass here and another save. Outstanding. Dyslexic Furry in on that one. Rich Factor already up in the air. Sends the shot. A third save. And now a fourth. Are you kidding? Great dunk by Swedish. Ball hanging around in the orange corner. Who wants to get it? This one goes out to Swedish. Log World trying to take advantage. What a shot backwards to take the 1-0 lead. Yeah, but that backflip though. I was just about to remark how locked tight the Reapers were outside their goal on the goal line playing tough. Not much offense so far, but you know, not letting the opposite team score. That's that's half the battle. Of which they lost courtesy of Log World with a heads up play. Sticking with it, keeping the ball cam on. And here comes Zimba. Trying to right the wrong, he loses the ball. Furry sends it to the corner and a what a pinch. Off the wall, out in the field. Triple commit there. True Reapers, they got to be smart. They got to be quick. But Bearcats recover within moments. They must have recognized the danger. And they look fantastic, do the Bearcats. Some light trouble here for Bearcats. Having a hard time making the clear. Across midfield. And Furry sends it down the sideline. Swedish has it going discourages furry but still anyone's game at midfield here comes rich factor good control couldn't get to it and that looks like the tying score that boy trickster gets up and gets it done can I get a oh yeah almost across the field lines it up perfectly and we are tied once more. It seems like these teams are, are destined to have these close matches. Furry strikes again. True Reapers have been trying to mount a comeback since, since game two, really. And they finally take the lead. Let's see how long they can hold it for. Defense has been a strong point for them. These next two and a half minutes will be very telling. Up to the backboard. And Furry is in. Dyslexic one. You don't need to read here. The only balls you need to read are the, the ones that come off the backboard. And he does it perfectly. That was legitness. What a way to reverse pressure on the Bearcats. Making them think. Making them sweat. And... Putting the burden of proof on them. What a demo. Kill Trocity. Gets it off the back wall. Another demo. That's a solve, brother. Log World can't quite get to it. True Reapers looking good form here. There's a pass. Teammate rotates all the way back. I think it was Trickster. Maybe Zimbo, but with the two goal lead. Things become a lot less dire in these situations. Swedish. To the wall. Rich Factor can't get muster much offense. Dyslexic Furry. Keeping his nose in the action. And this, this kind of back and forth, no one really has possession game style. This benefits the Reapers. <laughs> nice demo. You're not that guy, Felt. Izzy is here for two seconds, and she hates a name. Which name do you hate, Izzy? Please enlighten us. 
We're, we're all dying to hear your opinion. <laughs> Which name do you think, furry? <laughs> I mean... I'm not so mad at it. I'm not so mad at it. He's playing well this game. Good pass there from Trix, the dyslexic furry. Can't get to it. A little gun shy there outside the blue net. And it's out on the field. Swedish. Can't get to it. Trickster. With some dribbles. They're down to under 40 seconds now. They don't need to do too much with their two goal lead. And we are at half a minute now. Yeah, Izzy, th this, uh. Puffy! This series has been back and forth. Don't look now, another miss and another save. But it looks like the Reapers will avoid the sweep. And take game three. So now that pressure is on the Bearcats. They lost the opportunity to sweep. And now they got to protect the series win. They got to do it three to one. And they need one more game to do so. We had the game four. Trixta, MVP 553, one goal, three saves. We talked about Rich Factor's performance as the captain for the Bearcats. And on the other side, Trixta is matching that performance for his Reapers. As we roll into game four. Pops it up, another demo out there in the wings. Here's Log World. And I, I don't think it's a coincidence that with the Bearcats worst performance of the series, Log World was, was rather quiet. It has been a team effort for the Bearcats, but Log World has proven himself a difference maker. He has been the MVP on both Bearcat wins tonight. So the Cats have to find a way to get him going. Here's Swedish. Put it to the corner. So far, so good on the pass. Still shootable. Log World flips himself out of position. And here comes Trixta. Rich Factor. The two captains dive into the corner. And the ball lands in the lap of Dyslexic Furry. Here comes Log World. Solid 50 for him. Swedish can't get to it. Rich Factor. Desperation clear. Nice secondary touch, but he'll have to settle for the corner touch. Zimba. Across the field. Rich Factor on the back wall. Back and forth we go, 0-0. Zero, zero. Rich Factor lines it up, has the dribble with the save by Zimba. What a play. Rich Factor again put in that 1v1 situation and can't get it done. He, he looks good, looks confident on the dribble. It, it's really just amounting to a great defensive effort. And we remain 0-0. Zero, zero. Here's Rich Factor. Let's see if third time's the charm. But he loses possession. Swedish keeps it interesting. Here comes Log World. Puts it to the air. Now a 50 for Trixa. And he loses possession. Zimba waiting back deep. Swedish pops up. Lays on a demo. Brutality. Getting caught on the sideline here. 
Out in the corner, Swedish. The best opportunity they've had all game, and Trixta will deny them. Rich Factor can't get to it. Trixta will put it towards the blue net. Still a lot of action, Zimba. Too far back to make something of it. Trouble here now for the Reapers. Factor sends it away. Here's Logworld. Logworld very comfortable, both as, as, or as in all three phases. The first man, the second man, definitely the third man back. Very opportunistic he has been in this series. Rich Factor looking to read off the wall. Almost! That would have dazzled the fans and broke a lot of hearts. And bar down goes Zimba from the field. What a shot! Ooh, he's trying! Log World back deep, not close enough to the goal line. He might have had an opportunity to save it, but too quick for him. And now it's the Bearcats who have to break their streak. They are down. We are going to game five. I hope you've been enjoying the action. And oh, let me catch myself here. It's a minute left. <laughs> I'm, get, I'm getting excited here, Chad. It's a minute left. Plenty of time for the Bearcats. We've we've seen them up. We've seen them down. We've seen them on. We've seen them off. But they have to be on right now in these last 50 seconds. Missed an opportunity on a kickoff goal here. Here comes Logworld. Fast and Furious sends a pass. Swedish gets an eye. Dyslexic Furry has definitely gone to another level of his game. As the Bearcats continue to look for their first goal in game four. Rich Factor looks good. And I, I think that the story of game four is just how well the Reapers have rotated. They're not allowing any easy goals for the Bearcats, they're they're being stout on defense, being aggressive when needed on offense, and that that's it. Here, three seconds to go. They're they're not gonna do it. They might score a goal here, but they need two. And it is game five. And per tradition here, we're gonna run predictions. Just to give the the chat a little something to to snack on, get some skin in the game. Start the prediction there. It's game five. You you <laughs> you can't. It's hard to imagine starting the spring circuit with this kind of pressure. This kind of drama, but here the teams are. Zimba collects the MVP, one goal, one assist, two saves, and a lot of goose eggs here on the Bearcats side of the side of the scoreboard. But we are ready to go. Let's let's see it, chat. Who you feeling? Reapers, Bearcats, game five. This could go either way. Kylur. Filling, filling themselves some bear cat, some reapers. Sorry. Touch here for Rich Factor. Here's Log World. So. The game five is a, a gift and a curse. If you are the Northwest Bearcats, you're one game away from getting reverse swept. If you're the true Reapers, you are one game away from being the reverse sweepers. So a lot of opportunity in this game five. And any way you slice it, both teams have an opportunity to right all their wrongs from the previous four games. What a shot there by Dyslexic Furry. 
Log World able to address it. I imagine this one will be very low scoring. A lot of teams maybe accentuating defense, maybe a little more cautious on offense. Another demo. Get him a body bag. Yeah. And Log World sends it out. Trickster can't quite get up to it. Trouble and a backflip. Yeah, but that backflip though. And Rich Factor hanging out in the wing and the Bearcats might be second guessing themselves at this point. They, they've gone quite some time. I think now on four or five minutes total, including last game without a goal. Shut out in game four, so. Scoring here would be crucial. They get caught <laughs> off guard once more. These pinch shots, these quick shots have been killing them. And no matter who's back there as the three man, just one too many times of, of getting caught flat footed. And, and that's it. In these close affairs, sometimes all it takes is a goal. True Reapers have demonstrated enough defense that they can definitely grind out these three minutes with a 1-0 win. But that is not on the menu for the Bearcats. They are going to be bear down. Sorry for the pun. Ears back. Looking to get any kind of offense going that they've been lacking the later half of this series. Here's Zimba waiting for the dust to clear on the demos. Swedish, haven't called his name too much. And, and that's what we're seeing. I mean, Bearcats, all their wins were a team effort. So once someone starts to lag, they, they all start to drop in performance. They all fill it. Swedish can't get to it. Log World, high on the backboard. Here comes Rich Factor. Great shot, great pass, great save by Furry. To the corner, great pressure here. You feel like the Bearcats have to come away with the score here, and they do not. Hats off to the Reapers. Great defensive stand there. With a minute 40 left. You have to wonder who, who's feeling the most pressure here. Tricks to the corner. Opposite side of the field. Bearcats look a little sluggish on defense here. Here's Swedish. Could be shootable. Rich Factor can't get to it. Log World is eyeballing. To the corner. Tries to get the double. Rich Factor. No, the boy Tricks to escorts it away. And just like that, the ball is back on the Bearcat side of the field. With a shot by Lot, Swedish sneaks one in. What a play. Ooh, he's trying. Splits the defenders, ties it up. We are not done yet. We are a big fan of game fives here. But if this goes to overtime, that is a whole different ball game. Here's Zimba. A one hopper. That pressure has to be felt by both teams now. What a shot by Rich. And Trickster is able to get the save. We've seen a few, few nice duels from these captains here tonight. Whether they go for a challenge or on a shot, on a save. They have been getting matched up on this field tonight. This one goes back to Furry. Log World. Almost sneaks it in off the post. And Bearcats, they finally got the monkey off their back. And they're in and up. 13 seconds remaining. Log World, that might be good enough for the MVP. Let's see where he stands. And he will do it if they finish with the win. 13 seconds. The kickoff is much needed here for the Reapers. 
Rich Factor, 10 seconds. You hear the crowd. Swedish sends it up. And that is it. Bearcats take it. I, I wasn't sure we'd get an interview, but let me let me talk to to Rich and see see if we could talk to him. It's it's relatively late in the evening. Let, we'll see if we can get a hold of him. But what a fantastic way to open up the season for them. GG's indeed. Well played indeed. From both teams. From both teams. I'm, I'm going to give it a second. Okay, he is good. For an interview. There he is, Rich. Hold on, let me... It might be my Discord. I I was having crazy, crazy trouble with it. Let me check my audio settings. Hello, can you hear me? Okay, I can hear you now. I thought it might have been yeah, but we're my good. end. All right, you can hear me okay? Yeah. Okay, awesome, man. Con congrats on the win. Um... Probably not the way you guys envisioned it, but uh, let, let, let's just hear your initial thoughts and, and how you think the series went. Well, I, I just think we started out uh, pretty strong, won the first two games, Definitely. and then they uh, they picked up their defense quite a bit. We just couldn't get anything going the uh, next two games, and then they just got a few good clears, caught us had a bad rotation, and right, then yep. the last <laughs> brought it back. Yeah. Uh, no. As soon as we hit, as soon as we got one goal, we um, just had it going for us. Right, right. It, there was there was a lot of a lot of um, storylines going on with this. You know, it was, it was still just the best of five. Um, you guys, first in game one, you go down three zero, and you know, I what, what do you guys usually do in those situations? Do you serve as the voice of reason? Do you? keep the guys calm or, or what, what how does the voice chat sound in those uh those those scenarios so we were just um we were just thinking to each other talking to each other we were just like there's three quick quick goals there's like another three and a half minutes left we're we're okay we can we can okay. bring it back there's a bunch of time left and then we just kind of got goal after goal and kind of brought it back right and i think between the comeback and how well you guys played on the second half of game one it seemed to you guys seemed to ride that momentum for the the game after that and just couldn't close it out. So did you guys pretty much have the same mentality going all the way to game five as well? Yeah, we were just like, we just need to stay calm, just make sure we uh, can rotate. And then we started putting a guy further back rather than sitting more at mid just so right. uh, they get a good clear that it doesn't just go straight to our net. <laughs> right, right. There was I, that at least three goals happened like that for them, and it, it's tough. It's yep. tough. It's, it's that balance where, you know, obviously you want to play defense, you want to be in the right position, but, you you know, goals need to be scored, especially in in tight games like like these. So, uh, you know, you guys you guys made it work. Um, finally, finally got you on the channel. I, I know we couldn't uh link up last last circuit so finally got you on the channel um and, mm -hmm. and so congrats on your win um starting the season right but you have the floor sir any uh shout outs plugs anything else you want to talk about feel free no i just like to say um two teammates kind of brought it all together right at the end I, last game i didn't play the best but they kind of they kind of popped off at the end and right. just congrats to the team awesome yeah that's that's the mark of a, a good team I'm going to close out the predictions here. I, I ran them before we went to game five and it was 51% support for you guys and 49% for the Reapers. And let me, let me pay those out right now. So con congrats again and uh, good luck next week. All right. Thank you. Peace. All right. Bye. Oh, Paralyzer. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I would have told him, I would have told him GG's. Yeah. All around log world. Yeah, con congrats to you. Tough, tough fight. Um, it won't. Yeah, I guess I'll add you as a friend. Um, usually I'm able to find people through the the IGL Discord. 
but but yeah so so ggs all around um thanks for for letting me stream i once we got going we got going but uh but but yeah let's let's uh let's wind down the stream you can guide the raid for i think it's three three k channel points i know one of you just won 400 they're Swedish. Swedish, if you watch the VOD, I call you fish on accident so many times. I apologize. <laughs> I apologize. That was good games. Will this be saved? It'll definitely be saved, and it'll be put up on, on YouTube. Um, I'll, I'll send you the link, Paralyzer, for sure. Um, but yeah, it'll it'll be available on, on both. Uh, let's see who we got here. Let's give Mike some some love here. He's been killing the game lately. Hey, mom! The meatloaf! We want it now! The meatloaf! What is she doing? I never know what she's doing back there.